Hello gamers and welcome to more Steel Division action in Steel Division League Season 10. It's again Division 3, Group A, Denis Diderot against Firetide, Game 1. And the map is Bobre. Diderot decided to play uh, first DFL Vanguard against Firetide, who picked 28 Jäger um, Maverick. That's interesting because people usually tend to play more balanced on river maps. Um, as you can see, he's got his wrecking cars, he's got the Commando d'Afrique, which is really good with bazookas, infantry tab. Um, obviously, first DFL has a ton of good infantry, in particular the Legionnaires. He's also got spammy infantry like the Treilleur, Tirailleur. Very good CQC unit here in the double flare. The Chocks are a very good CQC unit. Tank tap a bit lackluster. You get Shermans though and those M10s. In the support tap, HMGs and the very good M3 howitzers. Anti tank, six pounders, tank destroyers. Um, for sure sufficient against uh, Stuks. Anti-air, both force, that's all you need. Radio motors, very good. Then lighter RT and heavier RT. Interesting. Air force, sea fire, really good. It can fight a little bit as well. Doesn't have much ammunition, but still can fight. Bombers in A phase already. Um, fighter bombers, marauders, and then in B phase a Hellcat with AT rockets. He didn't decide to go for the fastest Reckon plane in the game. I think this is the fastest in the game. Reckon plane, that is. Now, 28 Jäger is a good division. You get the Nebelwerfers. You can do the Fockerwolf spam, which, um, which uh, Firetide doesn't do. And the infantry, it's actually not super good, but it's Price-wise, okay. In particular, the Jäger. Interestingly, there's um, yeah two cards of Jägers. There's no Jäger card in B phase. Only the Sturmjäger. That's interesting. Two C phase cards, despite the Maverick income. And um, yeah, the MG42 is pretty good. I tend to underestimate it. But in CQC in in um, in Yellow Forest, you need to micro. Uh, and maybe even switch or even switch off the rifles so that you get into range for the submachine guns. Use the use the move order instead of the Q move order because otherwise you will just shoot basically with your rifles and maybe the uh, and the um, light machine gun. Rack and tap. He's got the Jäger, the Schafften, double weighted in A and B. Also the Spätrupp. Interestingly, a bit late. I don't know what he's planning with them. He's got the Stu in C phase only. Commandant, IG, Jäger Flamers. They are pretty cool because they are double flamers. AT weapons, nothing out of the ordinary. Anti air, the mobile flag feeling, and the flag 43 should hopefully be sufficient. And then here the double flamethrower 42. Air Force, we've seen that before. Fighter, fighter only in B phase. Only the Focal Fighter Bomber in A phase with the medium payload. There's one with light payload as well, which um, reloads faster. And um, eight 50k G bombs are still not that great anyway. Let's see how it plays out on the battlefield on Bobra. Here we are on the river map Bobre. On the left hand side in red we've got Denis Diderot playing um, first DFL. And on the right hand side in blue we've got Firetide playing 28th Jäger. And I think that uh, Diderot got a little bit lucky here because a good place to um, push for red is this area because of the direct, more or less direct road you get and it takes 
little longer to get into position here. And now that with all those tractions and fast moving units here, um, Diderot will have an even greater advantage to push into here. I would be super surprised if he does not ag very aggressively push into here, maybe into these houses here. Um, in the south, barebone deployment. He won't push the hill. He doesn't need to. He excels more in CQC and there are no great tools for uh, 20th Jäger on range anyway, not that many at least. Early, early airplane, there's no early mobile AA unit. Let's see where, where they're going to. Aggressive deployment here as well with the Partisans to get some lucky shots. Same here. If you play against and super aggressive deployment here as expected, even here he wants to cut down, um, shut down the road. Deploy some nasty, nasty surprises here. Um, I personally hate playing against first DFL because it can be so nasty. Look, they are already here and they are still on the move. They are not even close to getting into position. And the Partisan here is in position as well, but there's no push. Um, yeah, Fighter didn't, didn't do any sort of push. A little bit of a late unload. And the Partisan missing the shot, a manual unload, an early manual unload would have helped. But here he gets a kill. And the Partisan is very, very cheap. It's only 10 points, yeah? So now with the forced unload, all the troops can safely cross. Oh, there's even, there's a cannon being deployed here. That's interesting. I would have thought it's a, it's the Partisan. Maybe that's a misclick. I think that's a misclick. The Partisan was supposed to go here because if a, if a tank shows up here, the Partisan will kill it. That's a bit unfortunate. But still, this worked as expected. You can usually always push this. If you have at least 80 km speed or something like that, you can push. And you should. Now, there's a Partizan here as well. As the, as the blue player, this is a flag you can possibly snatch rather easily if you've got good ranged tools. And yeah, there's a flag coming now. That's a shame, you know, if you play against something like with a, against a division with good Reckon planes, like the Sea Fire, um, it can be expected that the enemy opens with it because Reckon gives you gives you the edge. You know exactly where your opponent is and can act accordingly. And then it's always good to bring um, a mobile AA unit. I've actually started looking at divisions and started liking divisions more if they've got a mobile AA unit in A phase. Yeah, now they are trying to swap position here. Up here, Sturmjäger moving, but they are stopped by the Legionnaire with the frag shells. And they are falling back. They are getting destroyed here. It's still two left. And they might even get killed by the Partisan unit. Blue player, where can the blue player push? Blue player can potentially push, try to push this flag, for example. Or what you can often try to do is try to push this flag, get into here a little bit, annoy the opponent a little bit here, use it as kind of a meat grinder if he reinforces into here. And you can get nice angles here from your side of the river on those, um, on those roads. So you can build up some support stuff as well. You can move re relatively safely move forward AA as well. Down here, he's moving forward, shooting. He did manage to kill the the um, the um, partisan, and now the cannon goes down as well. So that's a mis slight misplay here. The cube not doing much because it does not have line of sight on on the um, on the road. Just covering this would be better to position it a bit more backwards because units that come here will immediately sh kill it. This also line of sight ain't perfect from up here. And more BIMs are coming here. Mechanized support. And he's got a firm foothold here. He's obviously the Vanguard player, meaning he's got an income advantage right now. 
and he's um reinforcing the south because he feels like he can push the hill i think sherman coming two shermans actually where's this sherman going this sherman is going to the north he's also trying to you know there's a bit of a bulge here because this is just a reckon unit as well and this is a well yeah a bit of a bulge because of the sturmjäger he's about to snack those flags so the legionnaires will try to prevent it very risky deployment here because there's a sturmjäger inside with a line of sight not they are about to be unloaded and it will be incredibly hard for Firetide to push um, Diderot out of this town. You should try to ensure to not lose this town. Because if you lose it, you're pretty much screwed. So I think this is not super, super balanced, the map, in this regard. Nice aggressive deployment coming here from the side with half track the Puck 38 coming to the battlefield. And he's cut even coming this way. But there's an there's a this is it this three, right? Yeah, this three gun. Chuck managed to get into cover. Now gangbanging this Jäger. And this is two more flags for Denis de Diderot. He's now got a 59 point advantage already after six minutes. He's the balanced player, but still, this is what you need to try to prevent as the Maverick player or any player who plays against Vanguard. The Flak now shooting at the half track, but as you can see, it's not really effective. Buckerwolf with the eight bombs coming in, but yeah, ground target attack at. Yeah, doesn't do anything. And another flag for Denis Diderot here. He has a sharpshooter hiding here, but he's got no targets. Double bleed. The Sherman will, well, the Stuck will most likely be able to kill the Sherman. It's an advantageous fight for the Stuck. But unfortunately, it spots the chocks first and doesn't go on. Okay, now it's moving on, but the Flak 43 goes down. Now opening fire at the Sherman, just about... Oh, did it, got, did it get panned? No, I think not. That would have been super unlucky. Good here to retreat, good micro. Ah, I think the Sherman got panned by the Puck 38. Where are the reinforcements coming? It's now mortars. Can be used as a defensive tool as well, in particular against this good CQC infantry. And then you also need infantry to push things up. Might have been possible to position it more here, even closer to increase accuracy. They're aiming at the shocks. The shocks will go down for sure with the double, with the double um, attack and he's nicely doing a, um, a follow-up order here to move them so that they don't get counter batteried or manual count manually counter batteried because there's no automatic counter battery against this type of unit this this three gun and the jäger mg42 hold, just about holding the flag sherman did go down here, presumably through the puck. Good shelling here, but there's a Chox hiding in here as well. He needs to jump his Pioneer and then receive Heat gegen against Gewalt um, Ladung. There's a leader now coming, a Commandant by Tirailleur. Above these guys, they are very important units. Very good player to put them on hold fire. Otherwise, they would shoot at this stuff and then they would get annihilated by armor or the mortars. And now they are just sitting here comfortably holding the flag. But he's already preparing another push here on this side. Off map incoming. This will prepare an attack on this hill. The Marauder coming already. 
and then the off map to take out this the off yeah off map on this side let's see he goes directly for this one there will be a flamer here but that's not an opponent um you know he needs to fear i think tank destroyer going down that's a bit wasteful you know with the tanks the mortar would the radio mortar here would do a hell of a job against spotted infantry units and apparently the legionnaire got spotted okay there are some mortars here they've got radio cover thanks to the tirailleur that's actually quite good so you don't need to move them forward it will still be quite accurate and he's going for the puck and afterwards the stuck you can kill tanks can kill tanks with that but they are quite far away i don't know why they are positioned so far back down it goes the power of the mortar radio mortar the ace still alive and there's a push the yeah the uh, this three gun alone couldn't stop it did get a pin pen on both i think the off map as you can see pinned down the unit but it didn't drop any models Still 10 dudes and there's the follow-up is too late i think it would have been better to wait but at this point it doesn't really matter because it's 18 6. and as you can see the front line is not really collapsing uh, the is not totally collapsing but um the need to managed to get into this town and this is kind of the beginning of a complete disaster Gave him the opportunity because reinforcements had to go here. Gave him the opportunity to storm this hill. And down goes the legionnaire. 18-6. The triple pick is real. Massive push now. The units. Well, this unit at least still being pinned down. There's no armor support. Oh well, there's the armor support actually. But against the Stuke the sherman won't have a fun time everything should bounce at this distance yeah oh no sorry yeah don't know that was the that was the sherman right yeah mortar battle here but still the chalk is in here i don't know why he's not jumping a house here he needs to jump one house only and now he's getting shot at by the tirailleur they've got a um, sniper rifle what a what a positioning here quite nice now move it a little bit Jumbiega jumping a little bit but that really needs to win this flag back if she wants to stay a little bit longer in the game also this collapsed Duke sitting back tight. I mean, what is it supposed to do? Could potentially go a bit more forward, like here. Because this will still be able to shoot at um, reinforcements. Here you can see the MG42 actually doing a decent job. Yeah, but they are too fast maybe maybe they can get away Ooh. yeah but they're being shot at at least now the stuk moved a bit and now it can kill the m8 even the jäger could have killed it i mean that would have been within range i think it might have been done and he really needs to move his units here forward now. He didn't kill the um, commando unit in here, the chocks. And there's a bimp coming during this location, 17-7 still. Not looking good. The Stuck needs to move forward actually to get a better chance to take out whatever comes up the hill. Some focke wolf here 16-8 we're back to the double tick 
fire tight clawing um, himself back into into the game but he really needs to move his units up here but as you can see in the forest even the Sturmjäger has attacked them and I don't know why they are not moving he really needs to move these units He needs, he's moving them though, which is good because he needs this flag and this flag and then he could stop the double tick. And it's his income phase, but it's not yet really showing. The Nebelwerfer positioned quite far behind the front line. So it will, you know, the accuracy will be pretty shite. Hirailleur going down. He's about to get this flag back. And then that will be the 1410. Very well played here by Firetide. Reinforcements coming into the town. He now wants this flag back. Stuck now getting into a better position. A little bit at least. But he needs to get into one of these houses here. He's losing the flag again. The double tick is real. But he's killing it. Oh, how painful is that? Very painful. Very, very painful. There's no, no trucks yet, though, to push. Go back your Marauder. Puck going down. Oh, no, it's, sorry, it was the red obviously so good call here to micro that plane out of the way this flag needs to be captured the sharp shoot sharp shooter is coming he needs to attack this with his AT infantry looking the wrong way that's its chance Jäger. Can you do it? You can. 1410. Three minutes left. But it means that he needs to win two flags. This push totally failed, and now it's three flags again because he lost control of this over this flag. This is a good support unit in here. The fighter bomber with the 8 AG bomb, 8 50 kg bombs, not really helpful. Oh, German going down. Yeah, no, target lost. Nebelwerfer not really shooting, is it? Yeah, he needs to move his Stuck. How it's a terrible weapon. So good. Yeah, very good here to try to, to move across, maybe snatch that flag. Ooh, Stuck going down to the BIMP with its bazooka. That's very painful. I mean, look at this positioning here. Good place for, for bazookas. Fifty-three seconds left. And it's a single pick only. Because he managed to kill these attacking units here with the Stuk. And there's a yeah, last attempt. Maybe win this flag back with these trucks 33 seconds but the, where's the fourth the the other flag where's the flag that could be one now this flag has been lost Dumiga needs to move there's no reinforcements coming neighbor is silent not looking good and that's it gg um yeah very good performance by denis diderot with the early Win of the town, he actually sealed uh, Firetide's faith already.
you need to fight very 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 hard in order to you know get back into the game from a start like that um it's a likely start and a start that can't be prevented as such but then you need to have a tool in order to be able to to do something about it like maybe the naval weapon 41 i think they've got one theoretically that could have helped um but really nasty the kd wasn't that much in uh, Diderot's favor also um you know because he attacked and lost some units Here you can see the work of the partisans those three partisans killing just one of these Sturmjägers is already worth it. I think they have 30 points, so. Kills their hero. Sanapé got two kills. Legionnaire here. The Legionnaires did a look at what they did to the Sturmjäger. The double flamer. Fantastic work. That must have been the one in the town. Was triple vetted. Sorry, in the forest. In kind of center north. Um, losses. Took maybe a little bit a hero. The naval effort did shoot actually. Didn't do much though. Yeah, that's it. Instead, then I can't see his thing. Fight is now level. I would have thought he's got more games yet. I don't know if he at some point maybe changed his account or something. Because there are zero skirmish matches. So I think it's likely that he changed his account eventually at some point. Um, all right, then. Thanks a lot for watching. Stay tuned for uh, the upcoming Steel Division 2 content. Check out the previous cast as well. Thanks a lot for watching. Until then, bye for now.